Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Windows Presentation Foundation WPF using Blend for Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. Windows Presentation Foundation WPF is a framework for creating Windows based desktop applications. It supports a broader set of application development features, such as application module, controls, graphics, layout, data binding, documents, and security. And Blend for Visual Studio is a user interface design tool developed by Microsoft for creating graphical interface. So enough of all little talking, let's get into the real stuff, yeah? So as you can see on the screen, I have Visual Studio Installer opened. So if you haven't installed the latest version of Visual Studio 2022, please make sure you do before you come to this stage. But if you've done that, then let's click on the modify. So here we'll be open with the workloads. Yeah, so we we'll look under the desktop and mobile. And here we have a net desktop development so we check on this box yeah this actually helps us to build wpf windows forms and console apps using c sharp visual basic and f sharp with net and net framework yeah so once we check on this box yeah we have some optional application frameworks that we can use but we're not going to select anything we've got to make sure that we have the blend for visual studio checked as well so once we're done with that bit here, yeah, then we click on the modify. So this will actually download and install the necessary components needed for us to get started. So it might take a while. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing download and installs. So now we have the download and installation completed. So what we do is as you can see here now we've got the visual studio community here so we you go to your windows search bar then uh, we type blend so we should get the blend for visual studio installed so we click on it so this will actually open for the first time So this is what you get. So it's actually asking you <coughs> to sign in with your Microsoft account or whatever. So we're just going to skip it for now. So now we have the blend for Visual Studio opened. So what we do is we go to the create new project. So as you can see, is pretty much the same as the Visual Studio, but here obviously the projects that you can select is quite different. So what we do is we select the WPF application, C Sharp WPF application, yeah. So it is for a project for creating a .NET WPF application. So we click on the next, and here obviously you can configure your project details, but we're just gonna click on the next. And then here you can select the framework that you want to use. So we're just going to leave it as it is. So we click on the create. So it might take a while. So I'm just going to pause the video. So as you can see now, we've got a blend open. And we have the, uh, the solution explorer here on the left side. But the Visual Studio is mostly on the left but you can change it to suit whatever however you want it yeah so here you can have your object timeline yeah and then this is the code the, the, the XAML code and then the window in as in visual yeah so here whatever changes that you make here will take effect immediately so let's say yeah we actually change we actually set the the grid color the background color so let's set the the grid back the background color to um to any color so as you can see the blue violet 
it's actually changed straight so let's look at basic layout yeah before i sign out yeah so here we've actually set the the grid color so let's look at and how we can define our the row and columns of the of the grid yeah so we can use that we can do that by using um the grid dot column definitions yeah so inside the column definitions we can we can put um column definition so here we can set the width of the column so we can use a star for automatic so if we put so if we put um we just copy and paste here um three column definitions here with the star it means we actually going to divide the, the columns into exactly three parts yeah so let's do the same for the for the rows yeah so we go grid dot row definition so we put the row definition here we do it the same as um the column so here what, what we do is just gonna copy and paste it three times i mean two times so here we've actually we have three rows and three columns so in you know we have nine boxes here so i'm going to show you how you can select each each um each box yeah so here inside the grid here we start with our, our grid and so we have a we put a, another grid here and we close it so inside the grid here this is what we're gonna do we're gonna put grid dot column okay let's put grid here yeah? dot column span so we're going to select how much span so we just first of all we're going to put one here yeah? and then grid dot row span that one we're going to put one here yeah? Then we're going to select background. We're just going to put in a color which is different from what we've got inside the background. So if we look at it here, this actually has selected the first box here. Yeah? So inside this grid here, if you want to do anything inside the first box, that's how you're going to do it. So you're going to put whatever you want to put inside the first box here. Yeah? yeah, so. I'm just going to leave the video here i'm just going to continue and we can do a whole lot of things here so please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't because i've got lots of videos coming up here yeah? so stay blessed bye bye